30 horsepower bump is usually enough for a big headline, but the 2024 Audi RS6 and Audi RS7 Performance both feature many more enhancements that make them a more complete product. Now let's get some basics out of the way first. This car features 621 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque, all from this turbocharged V8. Now that bump comes from some changes in the engine software as well as some bigger turbos that are nestled in that hot V setup. The 8-speed automatic transmission swaps gears with a bit more speed and grunt while all power goes to all four wheels. The impact of the extra oomph is noticed immediately. This car is a rocket, and it's not like the non-performance models were slow, but this just has much more attitude to go with it, despite its stylish yet sleeper exterior design. That extra attitude is also noticeable thanks to Audi stripping about 8 kilos of sound insulation. And that's not the only place the automaker cut weight, as the new wheels are each 5 kilos lighter, cutting weight by 20 kilos overall, which goes a long way to improving the dynamics of these executive luxury cars. A revised center differential helps route power between the front and rear wheels, and it locks up much quicker and is a huge part of what makes the car so responsive. And of course, the performance models feature stickier tires, Continental Sport Contact 7s, that provide way more grip, especially in wet conditions. All these changes result in a car that can sprint from 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds, an improvement of 2 tenths of a second. Now these models aren't cheap, but fortunately Audi has included a number of upgrades to the interior that make it worth the price tag. For example, this model has all kinds of really nice blue stitching and blue accents on the dash that just upgrade the overall experience. And when it comes to comfort, I find these seats way more comfortable than some of the competition. And when it comes to comfort, the ride quality is really versatile. I spent most of my time in a model with air suspension, and it could switch between soft and stiff very quickly and easily, and the difference is immediately noticeable. Shoppers can also get the dynamic ride control models, which don't have as wide of a spectrum between comfort and sport, but is still impressively responsive. Now all this performance won't come cheap. The RS6 currently costs about $130,000, while the RS7 is closer to $140,000. These performance models will certainly command a bit more money, but given how versatile this car is, it seems worth it. Now I should mention the competition. I'd call the BMW M5 a more hardcore and track oriented car, while the Mercedes E63 has a sweeter soundtrack but little else. The RS6 and RS7 feel much more rounded and a little more subtle in terms of attitude. The 2024 Audi RS6 and RS7 performance models are lighter, grippier, faster, fancier and just better in every single way. Going from 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds is always an awesome experience, but doing it in something like these that can haul your family, your groceries and your gear is just awesome and well worth that eye-popping price tag. For Driving.ca, I'm Sammy Hajasat.